I'm senior reporter Wayne Koval in Colonial Heights. CBS 6 News was the first to bring you the information that the parents of the two children burned in the house fire were indicted by a grand jury. Now we're learning more about those charges. The house on Covington Avenue sits empty. Remnants of those who once lived here can still be seen in the carport. Grass grows tall, the windows long boarded up. 118 days ago, this is how it looked outside the house. It was pitch black, you couldn't see anything. Bradley Stuller, who was passing by and saw the fire, able to get the grandmother out of the burning home, but not the two children. The fire is three feet away from me. I can hear the kids six, seven feet away from me. Colonial Heights firefighters rescuing the two and three year old that were trapped inside. Most of the fire damage and, and such was contained to the limb rooms. Which is where the two children were inside a pack and play. Joshua Cabanis and Sierra Pitts, the parents of the two burned children, now each facing nine indictments from the grand jury. There are three counts of felony child abuse and neglect three counts of child endangerment and three counts of misdemeanor contributing to delinquency of a minor. The father already behind bars on unrelated charges. Investigators trying to locate the mother so she can be served and arrested. As for the children, they are receiving care at VCU Medical Center for the burns that they sustained. Days after the fire, both Cabinets and Pitts spoke to CBS 6 about their children and their recovery. Told us they would be here for months, maybe a year, very cute. Um, 50 to 100 surgeries piece. Cabin is saying their parenting would have to change. Everything we've ever learned in parenting, so that out, we have to adapt to that. Joshua Cabinus is expected to be arraigned on the nine charges on September 12th. Sierra Pitt's court date will be determined after she is found and arrested. Nachisaki believes it will be early 2024 before the mother and father go to trial. The reason it took so long to bring this case to the grand jury, not just hockey says, is because investigators had a lot of work to do to make sure they brought the proper charges. In Colonial Heights, Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.